Friday Football Fever, sponsored by GTCC and Shift Ed. Welcome into Friday Football Fever, week seven already, guys. Wow. Mm, yeah, time is fine. <laughs> We've got a lot of good matchups tonight. Yep, and our game of the week takes us out to Ramsour for a good old fashioned battle for Rock Randolph County. Yeah, Eastern Randolph hosting Southwestern Randolph. Let's dive into the action here early on. Cougars on offense, quarterback Owen Whalen looking for somebody open, throwing it to the wrong man. Ray West coming up with a pick. This set the tone for the game pretty much. Wildcats capitalizing on that turnover. Quarterback Carter Rebel says, hang on, I'll just run this right in for six. And he does. Eastern Randolph takes the 7-0 lead. Rebel gets his guys down the field shortly after, but a miscommunication uh -oh. here, yeah. Logan Marsh recovers the fumble. The Cougars take over. Now Whalen can go through the air again, and this time it is intercepted oh. again, this time by Nika Taylor, and he takes it all the way back for the score. You can see where this game is going. Eastern Randolph wins it 41-0. And we're just getting heated up on tonight's edition of Friday Football Fever. Dudley and Smith met up at Tartley Stadium. Reedsville played host to McMichael. Highlights from these two and more coming up after the break. We'll be right back. Welcome back to week seven of Friday Football Fever. Dudley looked to move to six and zero with a win over Smith. 
Jerome Blackwell calls his own number and he takes it in for the touchdown. It is 7 0 after that little quick run. Dudley gets it done also on the other side of the ball to the defense, stepping up, forcing the fumble. Trey Green recovers it for Dudley. And on the next series, it's time for the Golden Eagles defense as they knock the ball loose and Javier Branch scoops uh -oh. it up. Dudley rolls to the 77-6 win. The Reeseville Rams look to make it back-to-back -back wins as they hosted McMichael. And I'll tell you what, Isaiah Belcher had a big night for the Phoenix. Here's his first of two touchdowns on the evening, cutting the Rams lead in half. And just a few minutes later, it's Belcher once again punching it in as McMichael is now only down two. But here come the Rams. It's Aiden Mansfield normally making plays on the defensive side of the ball. Here he is scoring the touchdown to give the Rams a little breathing room. And check this out. Look at the big fella, Ken Dre Harrison with the juggling play on his back for the two-point conversion. Reedsville now 5-1 after the 34-18 victory. And Grimsley put its unbeaten record on the line at home against Western Guilford. Faison Brandon goes up top and connects with Alex Taylor for the nice pass and catch. Taylor then takes the pitch and scores for the Whirlies. Grimsley's defense playing pretty strong as Dion McLaughlin recovers the fumble deep in Hornets territory. Mitchell Summers on the carry and finds the end zone. Grimsley ends up winning it 55 to nothing. We made a stop in Clemens for West Forsyth and Glenn. Now Glenn striking first here when the big man, 340-pound, 6'3", Brian Godfrey Lord, intercepts Titans quarterback Burt Rice. That's the big guy there. Glenn quarterback Jarrell Crawford hits Juan Miller for the short touchdown and a 7-0 lead. West Forsyth answers in a big way. Came in Chaplin shows his 11 second 100 meter speed on this 76 yard touchdown. Titans quarterback Burt Rice gives the quick shovel pass here to Cayman for his second touchdown of the game. West Forsyth goes on to win it 46-13. Both Rockingham County and Eastern Guilford came into week seven with a four and one record, but only one could pick up win number five in this one. And it's the Cougars offense. They wasted no time getting on the board. Here's QB, Bryce Baker, keeping it himself. And look at the hole that opens up for him. And 50 yards later, he's in the end zone. Seven, nothing, Rockingham. Now, on defense, and look at the play made by the big fella, Jacoby Brooks, as he swallows the back for a tackle for loss. But the Wildcats, they would respond. After sputtering early, it's Jackson Jones hitting Josiah Hackett for the first touchdown of the night for Eastern. To the second we go. Wildcats down seven, still looking to tie. But the pass from Jones picked off by Brady Ross. However, the Cougars, they needed more offense in this one as Easton Guilford goes on to take this one 28 to 14. Now we're headed for a quick break, but don't go anywhere because we'll be back with more fever in just a hot minute. 